As soon as anyone says anything in favor of helping the Palestinian people, you get cries from Republicans, Democrats, and the media of anti-Semitism. What do we do about that? So I think for starters, sending you know a strong, clear message that um, conflating Judaism with support for Israeli state policy is is dangerous for Jews and Palestinians alike. It um, deflects legitimate criticism of Israel's ongoing occupation against the Palestinian people, uh, while ignoring the root cause of anti-Semitism in the United States, namely that of white nationalism. So as a member of Jewish Voice for Peace, I'm here to show my support and solidarity with the Palestinian people. And as a member of the Jewish community, uh, really uh, highlighting um, the need to address white supremacy which threatens not just our community, but so many others. Hey, thank you. Tell me who you are. Hi, I'm Danny Subay, and I'm Palestinian. And I'm a senior in high school. Uh, my name is Halima. I am 21. I just graduated from RIT last week. Hello, I'm Hanan Subay. Um, I'm a nursing student, and I'm 20. Well, this is a humanitarian issue, so it doesn't really have to do with religion. No one's against Judaism, it's against Zionism, which is basically the people that are hurting Palestinians. So. Okay, can you explain what the difference is between Judaism and Zionism? Well, Judaism is a religion, so it's a peace, and we respect that religion. But Zionism is a movement, which they want to take back their whole land, and in doing that, they're stealing the land of the Palestinian people, and therefore moving them out to create their new um, state. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Well, um, as I said, I'm Quaker, and Quaker don't choose sides. Um, we need help everybody who needs help, and that um, that's true in this situation as well as it's been historically. Um, so, um, and and we have friends who. Um, who travel over there and who uh, participate in a school that is uh, a school for peace that brings um, uh, brings everybody together and they they live very well in a village together and learn together and grow up together so why not? A Jew and as a member of Jewish Voice for Peace, there's a vast distinction between Judaism and its long history of humanistic values and the current behavior of the Israeli government. To be critical of the Israeli government is not to be anti-Semitic, it is to be critical of the Israeli government. There are many Jews in the United States, other countries of the so-called diaspora, and in Israel, who strongly oppose the Israeli government and its policies. There is nothing anti-Semitic about it, it's anti-Netanyahu. That's something completely different.